In Newcastle, it hasn't been much of a day for the family washing. It hasn't been much of a day for electioneering either. It's been dull and cold and grey, and without being uncharitable, the same can be said for the politics in one area anyway. It can't have happened often that a cabinet minister lending his influence and prestige to a constituency candidate can have met and influenced so few. The Labour Party loudspeaker car announced to an empty street, except for a few pressmen, the impending arrival of Dick Crossman. But when the minister arrived for the factory gate meeting at a shipyard, it was plainly Mr Tony Crossland, the regional planning minister, as arranged. His meeting started with an audience of 12, and then more joined in, and some stayed on the move back to work as Mr Crossland spoke of the Labour record. I believe that what we've done for the Bulgarian region and what we've done for the development areas in the face of the enormous rundown of the employment in the older industries, coal mining most of all, but many others as well, I believe that what we've done for the regions of the development areas, at a very heavy cost indeed, has been one of the most striking successes of the Labour government and one that would be greatly at risk if the Tories came back. But when he'd finished, one worker was a bit upset because the meeting hadn't had more publicity. Is there any notices? Is there any notices anywhere? I've been here since half past 12. Joe, I've been here since half past 12 and I haven't had an opportunity of speaking. I should think you haven't either. They get only two shop stewards and they've bluffed their way through all the time. It's bluff, man. Are you a shop steward? And I bet you he's a shop steward. Why should he? Well, why put on shop stewards when they go amongst the shop stewards? Oh, itself. He's put a smashing time in, hasn't he? Much of this area of poor houses without baths, second-hand clothing shops in long brick streets is scheduled to come down. Even where people live, you can't meet the people if there aren't all that many turning up to meet you. And this less than enthusiastic turnout led Mr Crossland to what he feels is his main point of the day. And so the appeal I want to make to you this afternoon is don't take it for granted. Just because the polls show we've got a 5% lead, whatever it may be, don't take it for granted that the whole thing's in the bag. Don't take it for granted that we don't need to do any more work between now and June the, the 18th, a fortnight, a, day, a fortnight away today. But do take seriously this danger that the Tories will poll all their supporters and we shall not poll all ours. A quick chat to reinforce the message of what admittedly hadn't been a very exciting and productive day in the cold. A day that proved that electioneering is often more of a patient plod than a stimulating feverish battle. Everything Leonard Parkin, News at 10, Newcastle. To make sure that we, that Labour, that Geoffrey Ray...